Rick Astley's hit single, Never Gonna Give You Up. Is one of the biggest songs of the 1980s. She's still hitting it. <laughs> it hit number one in 25 different countries. And Rick went on to have a string of hit songs. Let's take a quick look back. So Rick is now back in Chicago for the first time in almost 30 years. Woo, Good right. morning, Rick. And Good I got to say, looking at the pictures and the videos there, you don't look much different, man. Oh, you you're a lovely man. Graceful. Keep talking. Keep talking. You're a lovely <laughs> man. Honestly, the lovely your hair the same? Uh, because it comes in a box. I've got four, I've got four or five do, of them. I said that you do have really nice hair. I just said you're, that in my you, head. You so the talking. last time you are in the Chicago area was in September of 1989. And many yeah. of the fans that were on your Facebook page said that they were at that show. And they're going to be coming to your next show here in yeah. Chicago as well. That's pretty cool, isn't it? It is pretty weird, to be honest, to come back to cities that, um, I mean, everyone knows Chicago on a worldwide basis because we see it in movies and TV and all the rest of it. So people know the town for sure. But to actually come back here is pretty strange after all these years. It what really took you is. so long, Rick? It's a um, I retired. I retired for a long time. So I didn't. I didn't go to any cities. It wasn't just Chicago. <laughs> uh, I retired for a very long time. I kind of quit um, just after our daughter was born, and uh, I've had a really cozy, comfortable, wonderful life uh, because of those songs. Um, and about ten years ago, I kind of just fancied doing it again, so I kind of slowly started to and do gigs. And how many kids do you have? Just one. Just one. Yeah, okay. she's 26 Stayed now. Yeah, 26. because that was look. You hit. You hit. You hit it big with that number one single. And I believe yeah. it was 1987. Uh, yeah. Then six years of riding a lot of number ones after that in various countries. And in 93, you said, I'm going to focus on family. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't just family. I'm not super dad, if I'm honest. Um, <laughs> There's some business but, um, side to it I read as well. I think I just, I just, I, I really loved what I did. And I'm really, really grateful that I had that, that kind of 15 minutes of fame and that moment and everything. But I think I got out at the right time. Because it, I, I think now I can get on a stage and sing those songs and still embrace it and love them because they're good memories for me. Do you know what I mean? If I'd done it for 30 years solid, I'm not so sure I'd have the same feeling about it, you know? Um, so we were talking about how you are kind of like the Justin Bieber of the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like I love this show. Have you heard this show? Before. It's great. It was super startup. That's and accurate, right? You um, guys, yeah, I don't know. I think he was a bit bigger than I was, I think. But yeah, go, go. No. Okay, well, no, I'll take it. I'll take it, yeah. <laughs> you met everybody. I mean, I read that Led Zeppelin wanted a photo with you. Uh, sort of, yeah. I, I, I was at a hotel once and... Um, it's one of those hotels in Los Angeles where a lot of music people stay and da 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 And uh, w one of the people that were there was, was Robert Plant, who obviously is a hero and all the rest of it. And um, he won't remember this, by the way, but I was in shock for months after that. He wanted a photograph, I think, for his nephew, I think it was, or something. But he still wanted a photo like, yeah, with you. Yeah, Is no, that, like, uh, the most exciting one? Or did, was there somebody you met that just really blew your mind? Uh, I, think, I think a lot of the time it's nice to keep people on a pedestal, I think. Um, I'm not saying that you get disappointed by people, it's just that I think it's, I, I like to have my heroes, whether it's sport, music, film, whatever it is, you know what I mean? So yeah. I kind of like that. Um, but I did meet some proper rock stars, you know, along, so, the, along the way that was pretty amazing, yeah. So, so let's talk about Never Gonna Give You Up. Mm. I'm sure you probably had no idea it was gonna be that big, as big as it still is, uh, 30 years later. Yeah, it is pretty crazy, that. What, what yeah. do you think it is about that song that just gets um, us moving? I think it's the cheesy video, I think that's what it is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was the 80s, though. That was every, yeah, every I know, music video. Yeah, I know, I know. How was that but, video made? Did they just tell you, uh, dance like this, or uh, well, wear this? Well, believe it or not, the, all the clothes that I'm wearing in that video were actually my clothes. Close. I just kind of turned up on the day and they said, hey, we're making a video. And I went, great. <laughs> now, did you, did you notice the like one day, you know, it, it's Rick who's doing music and trying to make it, then it's Rick after Never Gonna Give You Up. Did you, yeah, there's a what definite, did you notice? Um, I think we, we, we used to have a show called Top of the Pops, which was a massive thing. It was every week and it was the rundown of the charts and everything. And the first time you go on that show, your life changes because back in the day, you know, half the country used to watch it. We'd all tune in and watch it, you know what I mean? And, and so once you got to do that show, it kind of, that's it, it changes, do you know what I mean? I was helping my brother, my dad used to have a little garden center and I was helping my brother about a week before, two weeks before, um, just with some stuff, delivering some stuff for my dad's garden center and two weeks later I was on the TV. <laughs> that's wild, that's You were a millionaire by 22. Uh, yeah. But while you were, while you were yeah. working so hard, you didn't have time to spend your money. So yeah. now that you kind of took a step back, 
What was the biggest purchase you made? I thought you were going to ask for a loan then for a second. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, well, now that you mention it. I think, I think, I think to be honest, it's, it's usually been, uh, I think, your home, your house is your biggest investment for most but people. But, like, how about one that's You're asking like for the crazy so, stuff, yeah, aren't crazy you? Stuff. Yeah. I haven't really been that crazy, to be honest. Really? No. Um, I think I bought, I bought uh, fairly early on, I bought a really nice car. And uh, I crashed it on the... Not crashed it, that's not fair. <laughs> I actually, I put it in a very, very dubious parking situation okay. and a truck basically ripped the door oh, off. Oh, it's their fault. On the first day that I owned it. And that kind of taught me and kind of said, you know what, it's just a thing. Wow. Don't, don't, you know what I mean? It's a thing, just leave. It. And, and it kind of just sort of taught me that money can buy you stuff, but it, it, I know it's a really corny thing to say, but it, it, it isn't going to make you happy. It's going to make you happy yeah. in terms of, like, it takes the stress away and it takes away, you know, you can... You can Pay right. things away, it's not but it's not it's gonna. Important. You know what I mean? It's not gonna do it there for you eventually. So I gotta ask you about this new phenomenon. Uh, it's been going on for a while now. Is Rick rolling? Yeah, I crazy. hadn't heard about this. I only know about you and your talent and your music. But everybody told me about this sensation it's, that's known as Rick rolling. Yeah, it's and been, it's really interesting. It's it's nuts, is what it is. But it has been amazing to me. I mean. I guess some artists would freak if it happened to them, you know, one of their songs, and it'd be like the worst nightmare. And I kind of view it from the other side and just kind of say, it's nice that that song, you know, kind of gets taken out from under its rock and people have get you, to hear have it. Have you ever you know. rolled yourself? Uh, I've been rickrolled by a few friends <laughs> in, the, in the early days. You yeah, click on yeah, a link, yeah, you think you're yeah, looking yeah, yeah, at something, yeah. and then so, there yeah. you are, your music yeah, video. For sure. So talk to me about this new music. So you, you have new music that's going to yeah. be out, and yeah. you've been, you're actually producing this music. Yeah, well, I, really cool. I, I turned 50 a couple of years ago, and I, I wanted to mark that birthday. And I'd been doing gigs again, you know, and doing a bit of touring in different parts of the world and stuff. And I just thought, um, because of social media especially, fans tell you what they want these days. And they said, look, we'd like a new record, make a new record. So I did, I made a new record to mark 50 and then crazily we had a number one album in the UK and we had a platinum record there so it went boom and um, that's been pretty freaky to be honest to actually play new music and have people sing along to it and then play them together forever and then sing along to that and then it, do you know what I mean it's weird yeah. it's kind of I'm even folding my arms it's so <laughs> weird <laughs> it's super cool you know reinvention evolution and you're as down to earth as we thought you'd be. Yeah. This, is all, this is all an act, by the way. It is. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you're talented. He's a crazy rock star so, at night. As soon as I got off there, that'll be, That's what you our, know, our fur crew was saying. You're a real jerk coming in. <laughs> exactly, you know? yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it's all right. This Rick's performing act. at the House of Blues. That's happening tomorrow. Houseofblues.com is where you can find all ticket information. It's been 30 years, guys. we got to <laughs> welcome him back. Give him a proper Chicago welcome. That's what I'm talking about. So, Rick, we actually have a little surprise uh -huh. for you. Uh-huh. Wedding Band is one of the most popular cover bands in town. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. And one of the most popular tunes to play is Never Gonna Give You Let's do Up. It. Never gonna let you down. We're gonna run 